So in a moment, um, Jane and Arthur are coming up to have, uh, go through the waters of baptism. Um, and just before they come up, um, I read a Bible verse during the week, um, Jane and Arthur, and it really spoke to me as a Bible verse for both of you and for all of us as a church as well. Um, it's from Colossians 1, verse 9 to 12, um, and it's Paul speaking. So we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will always honour and please the Lord and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. So I'll just give you those words, and, and for all of us as well, not just Jane and Arthur. Uh, Simon. Thank you, Sue. Powerful words there. I have some more verses to share with you, some verses that relate to what we're about to do. And then I'm going to explain very briefly what's going to happen. I know we have a, a number of people here who've perhaps not been present at a baptism before. And I just want to talk you through what's going to happen. And then I'm going to invite Arthur and Jane to come up. We're going to hear from them uh, what God has been doing in their lives. And then we will uh, prepare ourselves for the baptism itself. Some words first from Acts chapter 2. Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So those who welcomed his message were baptized. And on that day, 3,000 people were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Some words from Romans. Do you not know? That all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. And from Galatians. For in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. As many of you were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourself with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And if you, are, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. Some words that remind us that baptism is something significant something important, something powerful in the lives of those who come to Jesus Christ. And a little later, we'll be thinking a bit more about what baptism means from a, a biblical point of view as well and digging into what baptism is. But this morning, we are here as we welcome Jane and Arthur through the waters of baptism into this new phase, this new chapter of their life. And it gives me such great pleasure and such a real privilege to be able to share in this moment with them. Following his resurrection, Jesus commanded his disciples to go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In obedience to Christ and in joyful thanks for God's redeeming love, we gather now to baptize those whom the Spirit has led to repentance and faith. Jesus was baptized in the River Jordan, and still disciples are called to follow Christ through the waters of baptism, to be buried and raised in union with him. Here is the grace of God. Washed free of sin, disciples of Jesus are immersed into all that God has done in Christ and all that he promises to do through his Spirit. And by that one spirit, we are baptized into one body in the likeness of our Lord Jesus and prepared for his service. Let's pray together. Lord Father, we thank you for Jane and for Arthur. We thank you for what they are about to do this morning, that you have been at work in their lives, leading them leading them continually through your spirit 
to this point. We thank you, Lord, that you have brought them this far and that you promise to be with them as they go through the waters and enter this new life to which you have called them. We thank you, Lord, that you offer this gift to each and every one of us, this gift of forgiveness, this gift of repentance, of rescue, that you say to us, come, and I will welcome you, that you make a way for us to come to you. Lord, pour out your spirit on Jane and on Arthur this morning. Bless them mightily and richly. Lift them, sustain and nourish them as they commit themselves to you in obedience and humbleness. Lord, Father, we thank you and we praise you. And we commit Jane and Arthur to you this morning as we share in this time of their public declaration of their faith and all that you have done in their lives. In the name of our wonderful Lord Jesus, for whose sake we are here and in whose name we pray and baptize this morning. Amen. My friends, today we will hear of the work of God in the lives of Jane and Arthur. They are here because Jesus has found them and through the work of the Holy Spirit, they have discovered new life in him. The love of God has become real. The call of Christ has beckoned them, and the life of the Spirit has renewed them. So... Good morning. Most of you know me, but those who don't know me, my name is Arthur. I've been coming to Alton Church for about three or four years. Uh, Florrie Noble invited me to play bowls quite some time ago, and I've played indoor bowls in the church for a, a long time now. I got to know Matt Carter playing bowls. He used to be the minister here, as well as the other people in the, from the church. Matt kindly led my mum's funeral. Over time, I have started to understand about God and more. I used to attend Catholic churches and went to a Catholic school. Now I've settled into the Baptist church. I feel at home. I believe in God and that he is God the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that Jesus came back to life, and that is the resurre resurrection, sorry. <laughs> Showing he really is God. I now feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Jesus was baptized in the River Jordan. I can't do that. <laughs> but I, I want to be baptized at Halton Baptist Church, where I belong to the Halton family. I want to follow the example of Jesus and be baptized too. I've decided I want to follow Jesus for the rest of my life to live how Jesus wants us to live. I want to be part of this church family, joining in and helping out. Thank you. And uh, in a similar vein, and God was obviously putting Ephesians on my heart this week, which is funny, I haven't been reading it this week, but uh, it's the one, it's from Ephesians chapter 4, yeah. verses 5 and 6. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Bless you. Arthur, I'm going to ask you the same questions. Do you believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? I do. Do you turn from sin, renounce evil and intend to follow Christ? I do. Will you live within the fellowship of the church and will you serve Jesus Christ in the world? I will. <laughs> Arthur, on profession of your faith, I baptise you in the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 